Capcom's known for a few key things, whether it's Resident Evil or it's Street Fighter. Great production values, very visceral, action-packed experiences, strong, memorable characters. If you look at all of their characters from Ryu to Mega Man, they've got this style about them. There's something about them kind of, they're iconic and they kind of pop. I think the American characters tend to be much more shallow. You know, a big guy who runs out there and shoots everything. What we want to do is, I think, more like what some of the Japanese games do. We wanted Will to be somebody who looked very capable, but not somebody who just looked like an impossible caricature. There's a common school of wisdom that says your character needs to be a blank slate so that the player can be in the first person. One of the quotes that Inufune-san generally says is, no, your character should be a character. Will is an ex-military pilot who's been beaten down by life a little bit. So I guess this is it. Isn't it time to do something? What difference would it make, Ava? I mean, Will's kind of a jerk. In his own world, on his own, doesn't need anyone's help, isn't asking for anyone's help. The new guy. You must have someone pulling the strings. His main motivation in the beginning is just, I want to get the hell out of here. I don't want to be in this place. I want to get home. And over the course of the story, he starts realizing, you know, actually, maybe I should try to help these other people get out of here as well. Outside of his character flaws, Will is cool. He is probably a little more gung-ho than the rest of us. He straps a jetpack to his back. Doesn't even know how to use it. He's not coming in on a big tank with, you know, 50 other guys. A lot of times it's just him on a rocket pack slipping through the cracks. And that makes him very dangerous. Ava actually is a complicated character. She's a love interest of Will's. Back in the day, when they first met each other, they almost got married and stuff, and it didn't work out. It's not the dramatic love tension of like a love that's about to happen. It's sort of that, like walking in on like your parents bickering. Like there's an old fight that's going on. Ava knows a lot more than she's letting on. And over the course of the game, the player is going to start to realize that. Things you think you know, you were right, but not fully, and here's the full story behind them. Ava represents one of the few people that actually knows. So, Taffy, I see you've brought guests. Tesla is one of the coolest characters we could ever have tapped into. Nikola Tesla in the game is a scientist and an inventor who has, has been lost and, and somehow has ended up in the void. He's kind of operating in this laboratory on the fringe of society and is really spearheading a revolt. This should help you negotiate the kingdom. He's the person that's giving them access to all of these these cool gadgets, you know, the helmet for the for the hover pack and, and the big airship, the Ark that they're using to get across uh, these big expanses in the void. If Will represents the sort of brawny, agile part of what they needed in a hero, Tesla is definitely the brains of the operation. It's a little rare the way that we're using Tesla in this game uh, because he is, he is a real world figure and there is all this backstory on him and we think that's really exciting. I think Tesla's cool. He's like the misunderstood genius of, you know, the first part of the century. Historically, Tesla is a, a scientist and inventor. Uh, he arguably created the radio. I mean, I think he's best known for his work on the transmission of electricity. Everyone's familiar with the Tesla coil. Most people don't know really what it's for, but you know, it's about energy transmission. Edison was so frightened of him that this famous rivalry existed between the two that even to this day is kind of almost mythically out of proportion. There's all kinds of these weird different things that are associated with Tesla. There was ideas from Tesla about teleportation. He created this death ray. He might have had contact with aliens. He was testing something. You know, trees are falling over on the other side of the world. Before Tesla was found ultimately dead, he had actually been gone for a, a while, a couple days that no one could ever account for. So we're actually playing with that, saying that, well, you know, three days on Earth could be 20 years in the void, right? 